Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in a really makeup-y mood, so I wanted to do my everyday makeup routine, which is what I'm wearing right now. But before we get started, for those of you who are not subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. I'm gonna leave a link on the screen right now so that you don't miss any of my future videos because I upload twice a week. I'm gonna leave a couple of seconds on the screen right now for you guys to click the subscribe link. But prepare to see my naked face coming at you in three, two, one. And by naked, I meant naked ready for makeup, not naked naked, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be really good about applying SPF every day. So I'm using this one right now. It's from Rimmel. It's the Fix and Protect SPF Primer. It's this like kind of thick looking white consistency, but it doesn't leave a white film. And it's actually not that thick. It's quite light. I just kind of like dollop that on my face, blend it in with my fingers. I never really apply my SPF with a brush or a sponge. I always, always, always apply it with my fingers. I'm gonna move on to foundation. This is my favorite part of my routine because I just love foundation so, so much. Normally I use L'Oreal True Match on like an everyday basis, but recently in the past couple of weeks, I've been loving the Dior Forever foundation. I used it in a first impressions recently. It was kind of like relaunched and I did use it maybe like a couple of years ago. It was my like, acne foundation because it has quite a good medium coverage and I'm going to use this Lottie London brush. They're really affordable and they're really really good quality. They're synthetic brushes and I love this one because first of all it's pink but it has a flat top and I just find flat tops and foundations and me just like really... <laughs> Did anyone hear that noise? That was Duke. He does this like snoring thing where he snores but it sounds like a fart. So if you heard that, I apologize because it wasn't me farting. Anyway, this Lottie London brush is really, really good. It gives you like a really nice kind of flawless looking coverage and it blends everything in really seamlessly. I'm like holding my hand like a little paw today. I just realized I was like, put the paw down. This stuff is so, 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 so good. If you have blue under eye bags like me, the YSL Touche Eclat Neutralizer, it's kind of in this orange color, is so good. I just literally swipe it under my eyes like that. It has a clicky pen, which is so handy. And then the bags, well not the bags are gone, but like it really helps brighten up my under eyes and I just blend that in with my fingers. I was using a tart one for ages, probably like a year and a half, but I find this one so much easier to use because the tart one was in a pot and this one's in a pen and this one's just so much easier to blend in to the skin and I literally just like tap it under my eyes. This is a new launch and it is so, so, so good. It's the Bare Minerals Complete Coverage Serum Concealer has like the longest name. When you take the doe for applicator out the little container, there's so much on this. So you literally have to like dab, even though like I was just really lightly dabbing and there's so much more on there. And I love a lot of concealer, like I love that kind of vibe. Basically a lot comes on here so you can use it really sparingly. I'm just gonna blend that in with my beauty blender, but it's just such a great concealer. It's really, really blendable. It's so high coverage, but it has such a light consistency. It's just, oh, it's an all round, all round winner. The next thing I do is, because I have quite a red nose, I normally just like take the, a different color of the same concealer and swipe that down my nose <laughs> to blend it in because my nose gets so red throughout the day. So I just like blend that around there. For skin, there's only really one powder I've ever been like, you are my, is it really bad? I was gonna say bae, but I know how annoyed people get when <laughs> everyone says bae and everyone comes tweeting me being like, bae's over, but I don't think it's over. Anyway, it's the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. I just think this is the best, best, best powder ever. It's just like so finely milled. It does the job. It adds like a tiny bit of mattifying. It doesn't make you too matte. I kind of sweep that like down my T-zone. I don't really go anywhere else. With this, I like to keep my cheeks quite glowy. This is a set I got from Kiko, and I love Kiko. If you ha guys haven't checked them out, please check them out. Their products are super affordable and really, really good. This is a little bronzer, highlighter, and blush trio. I'm not too keen on the highlighter. I mean, like, it's okay, but I have other highlighters I love, but the bronzer and the blush are right up my street. I'm gonna take the bronzer, because it's quite a nice warm matte color and I'm just gonna sweep that. This, by the way, is my favorite bronzer brush. It's the Zoeva 127 Luxe something or other, Luxe Sheer Cheek. My last makeup tutorial, I told you that I burnt my chin here with my hair tongue and I also just burnt my forehead 
with my hair tongs so I'm just like being super clumsy with this hair tongue at the moment. I love this blush because it's like just such a cute girly pink that I think that's like my favorite favorite blush color. Did you guys hear that? That is Duke's snort fart noise that everyone thinks is me but it's not. You probably don't even believe me, it's such a sad story. For highlighter, I really like this one for daytime. This is the Makeup Forever Compact Shine On. It's so gorgeous. It just, ah, uh, oh, ah. Uh, click, 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 the light is like shining on it and it just, ah, uh, it's so beautiful. It's not too golden toned and it's not too white toned either. It sits somewhere nicely in the middle. Sometimes I like to add a little bit more cheekbone in my life. And this is the Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder in Medium. Now I hated this for so long because I was using it as a bronzer. But if you apply it over your bronzer, like just in the hollows of your cheekbones, it really helps to define everything. That cheekbone is just like ready to seize the day. Like it is loving life. I love this product now. It's so funny how you can just completely change the way you use something and then your opinion on it just like changes that cheekbone is popping literally this product is really good it's the urban decay brow beater i completely ditched the anastasia brow Wiz when i discovered this better shades and better lasting power and better blendability it has a kind of really fine nib I comb through my brows i apply the product in any gaps that I have and then I comb them through again just to kind of blend it in a bit. I brought you in a little closer. Ooh, that's seductive for the eyes. This was a Charlotte Tilbury pencil and I'm just clinging on to him for dear life because he's so beautiful. I literally just sweep this along my lash line. I lied. I put on my sticky note first so I can wing him out a bit and I draw a line like that. I'm going to use the NYX Dreamcatcher palette. It's such a beautiful palette and it has some great crease colors in it that are matte as well and I'm gonna take this one right here I'm gonna use that on a fluffy brush and just blend this in he's blending he's blending this is what you're left with like a nice wash of brown I'm gonna do the same on the other eye and honestly in the morning this step probably takes me about a minute like I literally swipe this on quite messily blend it out also quite messily with a brush. I'm gonna use liquid eyeliner next and I really wanna finish this one up. It's from MAC, but I always love the Kat Von D tattoo liner, but I just wanna finish this one. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of a wing liner, just slightly. This is where my little sticky notes come in so handy because it just makes the wing liner like so, so easy. Something I've really been doing that I noticed makes such a big difference is to line my upper waterline. So I'm gonna use this Givenchy eyeliner just because it's twist up so it's so useful. Oh my God, it feels so weird. What I do is I look down into a mirror and I just run it along my top lash line. You can see it just makes my lashes, like I don't have anything on them right now, but it just makes everything look really thick and full. This is honestly one of the best mascaras I've ever used. It's the L'Oreal False Lash Sculpt. It has kind of a weird little wand. It has like really, really tiny bristles too, but it literally just works so well coating every lash. I find that it really makes my lashes look really thick and full and voluminous and just oh I love 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 it. I like my lashes to look quite dramatic even in the daytime so this is like the perfect mascara for me. Below my brow bone I'm just going to use this cream shade from this NYX Dreamcatcher palette. Honestly NYX products are so affordable and I don't think I've actually found one that I don't like. I'm trying to think if there was a NYX product I found that I was like oh that sucks but I don't think I have, you know. I'm gonna take this light purple color here. Oh, bless you, <laughs> Duke to sneeze. And I'm gonna take this one and then sweep that along my lower lash line. I love applying mascara to my lower lashes. I think it always like brings everything together. I always speak really slowly when I'm doing anything to do with my eyes. When I'm feeling fancy, if it's like a fancy every day, I'll use some corner lashes. I love, love, love the Flood Force. Fleur loves. Uh, corner lashes you guys can see they're just like really wispy and I find corner lashes so easy to apply That's one eye with the lashes on I don't wear these every day, but this is like a fancy kind of every day I'll just like pop these on top because they take like a couple extra minutes That's it once you get the hang of fake lashes. They're so 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 easy to use I promise you people would say that to me and I'd like roll my eyes and be like yeah sure But honestly corner lashes are the bomb last but not least is my lips now 
I've been using this pretty much since I discovered it non-stop. Just nothing beats this guy for me. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. I use this to kind of slightly overline my lips and I also use it because it makes the longevity of my lipstick so, so, so much more. And I find that when my lipstick fades, this still lasts. It's just so, so, so amazing and I love the color too. Like, I honestly could rave about this lip liner all day. You guys have heard me rave about this lipstick so much. You're probably bored of hearing me talk about it already but it's the YSL Rouge Volup Shine. Did that drawer just open again? Oh my god it did. This little ghost is dying to come out. Anyway uh, it's the YSL Rouge Volup Shine in number 44. It is my perfect nude. It is so beautiful and it has such a shine to the lips and it smells amazing and it's so balmy. Ugh, I could just honestly apply it all day long. Oh my god the door just opened again. Just go away. Ghost. So this is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I know I apply a lot more makeup than I normally do in my kind of everyday makeup routines but I'm just in such a makeup y mode at the moment and I'm loving applying products and I'm loving all these products. Oh I forgot one. Oh my god I forgot my L'Oreal fixing mist. This is so good. You kind of shake it up. It has this like weird little clay or something in it and it goes to the bottom. Or it looks like clay but it's not clay and you shake it up and then you just spray it on your face and I honestly swear it makes my foundation last so much longer it's so good and it feels quite refreshing too anyway that was my last step and i really hope you guys enjoyed this definitely give it a thumbs up if you did and if you like makeup tutorials i will definitely do more i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video bye guys Welcome back. It's gonna be a really fun video today guys. I've been done. I ordered some more things So I got those plates. I got these two Gorgeous little bowls here. This is the blue pheasant I think and the white no white peacock blue pheasant I don't know something I'll link I'll link the 